All right, what's up, guys? Welcome to the Sneakers Insight video. And in today's video, for so I know that I have like some sneaker heads out there that are, um, they're like you're just getting into sneakers pretty much, have no idea what any colorways mean, the history behind colorways, um, don't know the history of like particular shoes I may talk on. And, um, no, like I was just talking to a friend of mine the other day. And uh, actually yesterday, but um, no, it was like he he told me like how he's been watching this channel, and then I also do uh, sneaker review videos on my uh, main channel, T Moss Boss. And um, no, it was like you know just going based off of what he is saying, and just based off of previous conversations. Um, yeah, you know I could tell that he's new to the sneaker game and stuff. And he was just talking about how he got some LeBron 19s, good colorway too. And, uh, no, nah, man, I, I do think that I am going to start working on that, uh, doing kind of like a, like a background, kind of giving y'all a little history lesson, you know, a little conversation starter, uh, for when you do go out and get you a pair of sneakers, you know, somebody approaches you on some stuff where it's like, what do you, cause bro, I'm gonna just tell you this right now. All right. Especially with these, uh, sneakers I'm gonna be talking about. I remember when I got my first pair of Air Jordan ones. I had no idea what I was walking into. I didn't have no idea that there was like, you have like some regular ones, and then you have the retro ones, and then you have the high tops, the mids, like there's all these different, and I broke when like I was going out and getting me a pair, like you're unaware of all of these different things. So the ones that I will be talking about today are a pair of high tops. It's actually the original, not like the original, like the very first ones that came out back in 1985, but it's the re-imaged versions of the ones that came out back in 1985, but they had just recently came out. And I've actually had these um, since... So actually, since the first like Lost and Found release, because these are the Lost and Found ones. These are the ones where it's like they're like the 1985 ones, but they're not the 1985 ones. The 19 and I know people probably would be wondering like, well, why not just buy the 1985 ones? Those sounds like that sounds like that would be a lot cheaper. See, here's the thing to explain to you guys about sneakers and stuff that even though like back then them shoes only cost like sixty dollars. There's still like a high end shoe pretty much because it's rare. It's rare to come across a pair of shoes like that. And it's weird to explain it that way because I mean like, yeah, you can go out and get you like if you have either the money to get them retail or resell. Um, yeah, you know, you can't just go out and get you a pair and stuff. Uh, but that's more so talking on the newer re-imaged ones. Um, the old ones, yeah, it, it's going to be a little bit harder to come by. Also, if you do buy the old ones, the thing is, is that you can't wear them. Like, so if you're like, oh, bro, I want to wear these outside. I want to wear these to work. I want to, you know, take them out to places. Yeah, the new ones you can, but the old ones that came out back in 1985, you would not be able to do that with those because the threading done got old. The glue isn't like how it was when it very first like got put together. And I guarantee and promise you like 30, 40 years down the road, these shoes are going to be the same exact way where, um, yeah, they're just going to be unwearable outside and stuff. So I think, you know, I am going to enjoy them as much as I can. But, uh, yeah, until then, you know, I'm just going to overall. I thought someone was, like, on my face for a little bit. But, anyways, um, no, yeah, I'm just going to enjoy them but as much as I can. But, no, let's all go ahead and uh, show you guys the shoes real quick. So, these are the, uh, the like, the actual, not the actual, but these are the ones that, like, Michael Jordan, like, he very first, when he got his very first pair of Air Jordan 1s. And um, I really do like these uh, Lost and Found and, like, the backstory behind these ones. So I guess like the backstory is that uh, these like so there was a bunch of ones that just went missing. I, I honestly think that would be like breaking news because I'm like, how would that even happen? How can like hundreds of thousands of pairs of shoes just go missing like that? I'm like, nah, and then all of a sudden years later, they're discovered. No, if something like that were to happen today, Nike would literally hire the FBI to go find those shoes. You there will be no way possible uh, like hundreds of thousands because I think. Um, from what I heard, like, they made, um, quite a few of these ones, and so, yeah, I'm like, bruh, I just, I, I love them, bro, I'm like, if, like, if you guys haven't, go to my main channel and see my reaction, like, the, uh, quality is a little blurry, but, man, like, I just, this is, like, one of the, I'm trying to think, did I get these, I can't remember if I got these in December, or if I got them in January, but regardless, like, I ended up, um, having, yeah, I spent a little bit extra on the resale, 
Um, cause I look, I just went, I didn't want to try my luck trying to get them retailing, and I don't get them, and then I didn't know whether the price was gonna jump or not. So, yeah, made that decision, but it was worth it. I'm like, no, nah, I've just been wearing these shoes around the house. I really haven't taken them outside yet, cause I just wanna, I wanna preserve them. I wanna just, you know, enjoy them and stuff, you know, and not just be like, okay, like I can only, cause I don't wear shoes um in the house. So that's why I've just kind of been, you know, I know I'm like inside more than I am outside, which it should be the other way around. But anyways, regardless. Um, but no, nah, man, these shoes are like, these are probably my favorite pair of ones. Like I got a, quite a few pair of ones that I have. As you can see, I got a pair of low tops right here, mid tops. These will probably be my fav my all time favorite. Like no, the patent, these shattered backboards. So it's like a patent leather, but the way that they look, it kind of reminds me of this shoe, but in its own way. Like the shoe, it seems like it's kind of been like worn and you know, it's, you know, has like this look to it show you guys real quick i can do like how michael jordan was in space jam and you know reach okay there we go so yeah it has like this like wrinkly look to it and i like it like that because no like if i go outside and i wear them i don't have to worry about them creasing i'm like the shoes are already creased and stuff so but with these ones they haven't really uh creased as much um just yet you know just by me wearing them in the house like there's you know yeah it's a little little dent and things but it's not like mad and stuff like it ain't like it's like mad crazy and things but anyways no let's overall talk on the history of this shoe and stuff because for those so because it, it's stuff that i had you know found out myself i was like i didn't really know too much um history behind these shoes i knew that these were the first pair of ones to uh come out but these wasn't the first pair of shoes that michael jordan wore when he got signed um to the nba and stuff so he did uh so what's crazy is that they excuse me they mentioned it in the uh documentary that he was trying to get signed to i think it was adidas and so i think based off of what i remember that he didn't want to go to converse because everybody had converse um and then he went to adidas but adidas was like we're not gonna you know sign you like you're you know you're brand new and stuff you know give it some time and maybe we might sign you and then i think that's when nike they took a chance on him and uh yeah they just recently just came out with a whole movie uh surrounding these jordans and stuff so um yeah it was like they they uh took a chance on them and then next thing you know they released these suit like shoes they just they were selling everywhere and stuff and what's crazy was like i don't think they were selling um and who knows maybe they were selling like how they sell today but no uh nike um when they was like when they these shoes did hit the market and stuff like yeah people were selling they made their money and all that stuff and of course you know made it like a name for themselves but you can uh like if you do a little bit of research these shoes was hitting the outlet stores at one point in time i think it was the bread ones and then it was the uh there was these like royal blue ones that came out and i remember i saw this post where like and they even kind of like have like a little minor detail on the box where it, yeah it's um on the box right here so these shoes actually they were not on sale but back then like no these shoes were not going for that much these shoes compare because i think these retail i think they're like 220 i think 200 220 maybe a little bit cheaper but um hold on for a second let me check and things how much are the lost and found jordan one okay uh 180 all right so i spent an extra 400 for no it was like about three four hundred dollars for <laughs> no reason and i'm like but it, it was worth it all right i'm not gonna let that you know get in in the way and things i know i just like there's at times where i do like trade in shoes to get another pair of shoes i will not be trading these shoes in <laughs> okay i am keeping these all the way up until they are just like unwearable to you know to the point where i'm like yeah i just can't wear them outside anymore like these shoes have fallen apart and then most likely i will go and get like a glass case put them in there and just let them just sit and you know yeah and just some you know glass glass dome because i'm like nah bro these these shoes will not leave my possession i'll be so mad at myself if i were to you know resell these shoes and stuff because i'm like just just at like the time that i waited for them i'm like nah bro i just i i don't see myself doing it but anyway so but yeah so uh nike they signed uh michael jordan and they actually had gave him a pair of shoes that looked somewhat similar to these shoes and um instead so i think they kind of if there is any pair of like air jordan ones that they do look like i think they're the ko's or something like that they call them that and let me bring those uh air jordan ones up but um they have like this actually you know no let me just show you guys like the ones that he actually had wore um nike airship 
think these are the one yeah there we go okay so there's actually a couple of pair of shoes that these uh um these nike airships how they look and stuff yeah they got like pictures i should i you know i'm a, like at some point in time i'm gonna show you guys what the uh original um ones look like compared to these ones they don't have like a thing where it's just a picture by itself i think i have to okay bring this one up all right open images there we go all right so this is what he was wearing at some point in time when he did get signed to nike and then eventually nike was uh working on the um air jordan ones so yeah there ain't like uh too much of a difference like they do take um some like similarities a little bit and then the uh the ko's like that's what they kind of more so remind me of so let me bring those up air jordan i could be wrong because i'm like it's you know chicago yeah see so okay so there's actually yeah they're they look like a kind of like well they got like a uh like a uh threading they don't really look too much like them but anyways uh so these are what the ko's uh look like and they're pretty much yeah so it's pretty much the i would have to say like a collab between this shoe and then those uh nike airships and so i, I but i can't remember what ko stand for um it, it's like they i'm telling you like in the sneaker community there would be colorways names all these different like sayings for shoes where it's like they mean something i'm like bro what what is that what what that's what i'm saying i'm like the sneaker game is so confusing just based off of all the stuff that's going down but anyways um but yeah getting back to this shoe so actually and then let me show you guys what the actual like the ones that did release uh back in 1985 uh 1985 there we go um so they got like okay so now let me show you this uh image and stuff because this this is what this is what they really be looking like and easy yeah, autographed all that so it ain't like too much of a difference but yeah so these these are the original ones those are the ones where they uh yeah he was um out there wearing them on the court and stuff and then these are the re-imaged ones and they're like pr so pretty much i know people probably would ask like you know what like did these ones come out during no these ones just recently um so nike put them in production uh they have like a tag so like that's one thing that you should know about shoes if you're um curious because so the thing is, is this somebody could approach you like if you're new to the sneaker game somebody could approach you and tell you oh yeah these these are the original ones i saw a video of an old dude he went up to some young guy trying to i think was trying to sell him the shoes talking about oh yeah these are the original ones these are the ones that came out all the way back when and the guy was like bro these shoes just recently released like i seen like four or five people with them he's like nah man these are the original ones so if you actually look in the inside there's a tag on the side of the shoe and it has it's um it has like a sizing thing on it but it also has like the date when these shoes went into production so these shoes went into so yeah it's right underneath this like uh like code and stuff but they say that the shoes were in production from may 11th 2022 all the way up until july um july 12th of 2022 so yeah if you're always like wondering you know well somebody just came up to me with a pair of original ones trying to sell them they're saying that they're original ones look in the inside at the tag and stuff and you won't make no mistakes you're thinking you wearing these but you wearing these because yeah they're you could come across these easy but those ones nah those ones they these will probably be going for like in the really just depending you know i just realized because like i don't know if this is like an original um lace because i'm like they just so these ones just came in with black and white laces and i don't know like it, it would have been dope if they would have came with some red laces. I'm pretty sure I could, you know, go out and buy some red laces and stuff. But anyways, and that too, like if they uh like just even pay attention to some stuff like this. But yeah, just really like if you are going to be going out and getting you um a pair of like Air Jordan ones, especially these ones. It's uh yeah, it's best to like, you know, do your research, look at some stuff. And, uh, yeah, hopefully nobody ain't trying to run no scam on you and things. But, anyways, um, yeah, these are the uh, um, re-imaged original ones, all right? 
And, uh, yeah, but I think, like, there are the bread ones, um, which are, hold on, let me bring those up. And it's crazy because, like, uh, those ones, so I don't think, it wasn't those ones, it was some other ones where, all right, yeah, here they go, uh, where they had got, he couldn't, uh, wear them, and I think it was like, but it wasn't, so it was those Nike airships that were, like, supposed to be these, um, but he ended up getting fined or he like, I think the NBA has sent him a letter saying that he can't wear the Nike airship, uh, versions of these. And so, yeah, I think, I, I don't know. I think he did get fined. Um, if not that, then, uh, yeah, it was just, I think he just NBA told him he just, he couldn't wear them. And I think, so I think from what I heard, it was like a three warning thing where it was like, if he wore them, he got, he'll get fined. If he wore them again, then he'll get a bigger fine. And I think if he wore them a third time, he'll get fined and suspended. I'm like, bro, for where now, like if you watch an NBA, if you watch NBA, NFL and probably a bunch of other different sports you'll see so you'll see somebody like so for an example you'll see somebody that plays for uh the Lakers and if they if like let's say like yeah these just came out today right and then there's a Lakers game um coming on today if a basketball player wanted to wear these shoes I've seen where like players with like an orange and purple like the yeah the phoenix suns where they were wearing uh kobe shoes after kobe had passed away and it was like these uh grinch um five i think fives that they were calling them but yeah it's like you'll see where players like where their uh team colors don't go with their shoes and it's like yeah that's just what the sneaker game is like you don't have to like match like if you want to wear these with like a a blue suit it's like bruh it's like go go do what you do what you want to do okay that's one thing about sneakers is that i'm pretty sure back then especially yeah in the 80s and 90s where uh shoes were just you know like yeah or not shoes but like the style of your clothes was just all over the place bro watch fresh prince of bel-air and just see how will was dressing in there i'm saying you can pull off of whatever outfit and wear one of these shoes all right so but anyway it don't have that new shoe smell anymore like it did when i very first got them but yeah they just kind of it, it's like it's very it's there but it's like it's very faint and things but anyways um yeah if you want to get you a pair of these shoes um you will not be able to find them on like nike.com or anything no you're gonna have to go to goat and i think uh these are retailing for let me check real quick Goat. um i i recommend goat like if you want to go and check out stock x you very well can uh do that but i know i think stock x they're currently going through in uh um which you would call it a uh, lawsuit and stuff because they're um i guess there's claims that they've been selling fake shoes so um yeah for a size uh 10 that's what this um because like lately i've been getting like 10 and a half because like some shoes have been feeling a little bit tight and things but you can uh get these um in a size 10 for 438 dollars and uh, they are true to size, so um, that's one thing where it's like, even though I just re just said that, I'm like, yeah, I had to go and get me a pair of shoes, like maybe a 10 and a half or something. These shoes, Air Jordan 1s, surprisingly, are true to size. So I'm like, no, if you want to get you a pair of Air Jordan 1s, they are true to size. I did do a video saying that they are true to size, but just to overall say it again, Air Jordan 1s, they are true to size. And uh, let's see what GOAT is saying um if you want to get those big red boots uh those are actually going <laughs> for a cheaper price that's just crazy that they you know that they came out with those shoes and it's like i just i don't know about those bro oh they're actually going for the same price on uh goat but i know with goat like you can get like an instant shipping which is a little bit more um but if you don't want to do that and you don't care about that then yeah they are going for uh 400 um you know if you just do like the regular shipping uh, but if you want to do the instant shipping, um, before tax, they're four ninety five, and uh, um, they actually have like a pair of uh, used ones. It's just it's crazy to me where it's like the uh, the used ones. They just they don't even really look like they've been used because I'm like they, that's the shoes they already got like a old look. It's just that the bottoms look a little dirty, but yeah i'm like whoever it is that own um own these it's like yeah they, they ain't that much of a difference let's see what uh ten and a half like what they got oh they got like a couple of pair that's uh used too so if you want to do that you could get them used on uh goat but anyways and that being said i will talk to y'all later thank you guys for watching hopefully you enjoyed this sneakers insight video like subscribe if you're new to the channel and if you have any questions about those air jordan ones or any other air jordan ones feel free to comment them down um, below but anyways talk to you guys later peace